Everyone knows states are where all the action is. Bills move so quickly at the state level. Sometimes there's 11 hearings in one day, so you see policy moving so quickly, and you can get bills passed so quickly. Versus in Capitol Hill, it's gridlock. So it's so exciting to see nuclear policy get supported and move quickly at the states. States are so interested in new nuclear these days. Last year was a historic year for nuclear. We've never seen so much momentum from states and their interest in recognizing nuclear. Just this past year, 20 states took action to support nuclear. The policies that they were passing are really a lot of the policy trends that we've seen previously. They're doing things like repealing moratoriums, removing barriers from considering nuclear policies, they're recognizing nuclear in their state strategies. So they're defining nuclear as a clean technology or they're including nuclear in their clean energy standards. They're also looking to study nuclear by convening task forces or commissions and working groups. They're also financially incentivizing nuclear. So these are all policy trends that we've always been looking at, but we've never seen so many of these policies pass in one particular year. And this year, we've had over 100 bills be introduced just to support nuclear as well. So this policy momentum is still continuing this year. Don't ask me to pick a favorite state, because I won't. They're all doing a lot of great progress. Uh, but states that are passing bills that are supportive of nuclear, so states that are studying nuclear or convening task forces and working groups, those are states that are exploring nuclear. States that are removing barriers like repealing moratoriums, those are states that are showing the most progress for nuclear. But it's also really exciting to see states like Tennessee and Virginia take significant actions to support nuclear energy. We're seeing some significant nuclear policy trends in the states. First, states are removing barriers, so they're repealing nuclear moratoriums. There used to be 16 nuclear moratoriums across the country. Six have been repealed since 2016, so there's 10 left. Then we have states that are convening task forces, working groups, commissions, all to study nuclear technology. Then we have states that are defining nuclear as a clean technology. So they're either defining nuclear as clean or they're including nuclear in a clean energy standard. Just this past year, Michigan and Minnesota included nuclear explicitly in their clean energy standard. Then you have states that are financially incentivizing nuclear. So they're including nuclear in their financial incentive packages. Tennessee and Virginia both included millions of dollars in their budgets for nuclear energy.